Hi, it's Paul from Hobby Link International. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Button's down there. Also click on the bell, that way you'll get notified of new videos. Today we're going to have a look at a kit that's uh, in our shop from Armoury Models. This is their 144th Sukhoi 24. Okay, so this is a kit from Armoury Models, Sukhoi 24M, Fencer D on our later versions, 144th scale, um, Ukrainian um, ski, paint scheme with the like a pixel camo thing going on. A couple of pictures on the side of one of one version. Um, nothing much else there. Take the lid off. And it's all enclosed in a, a cardboard box. I will say there's this is just one version of this. This is was it kit number 14704. There's other versions of this kit with different decals, usually um, foreign, not uh, not Russian decal sheets, but um, the fens are being used in other countries. So, what do we get? Uh, all the stuff's in there. Paper instruction sheets and a uh, decal guide. So I'll just get rid of that. So let's start off with what's in this bag. So we've got obviously resealable bags. So we've got 4P frets, open this up, see the decal sheet on the front there, all the pixel camo is done uh, with um, decals. And we get some resin parts, just like exhausts, and some smaller parts as well. Clear fret, obviously with the cockpit uh, canopies. So uh, what have we got? Fuselage seems to be broken down top and bottom. Uh, nose is left and right halves. I don't know if you can see but there's some really f really fine recessed panel lines on there. Um, I can feel them as I drag my fingernail across but I can't feel them under my thumb so to speak. Um, they look quite nice. Like there's alignment pins. If you hear some little thumping, that's the cat running around, or one of the cats. Um, second one is basically the wings. Looks like yeah. yeah obviously, it's a swing wing aircraft, but it looks like you have the option of putting the wings in two positions, either fully forward or fully back. Bit of uh, flash in some parts, but nothing too serious. Again, nicely, very fine panel lines on there. And very, very nice details in all, in fact. And we get uh, what looks like underwing stores, fuel tanks, pylons. Uh, whole heap of bombs and more pylons. This looks pretty good. So then here, yeah there's some parts that are not used, perhaps they're used in one of the other versions. It shows you here the other, you can see pictures of the other two versions. Um, I think I'm also missing something in here somewhere. PE fret. There's a photo etch fret there with some parts on it as well. So 144th scale plastic kit, resin parts, photo etch parts. Um, and then if you look quickly through these, I'll go through these in more detail, but 
seems to follow the usual plat usual usual way nose first cockpit building the front um, cockpit top and half nice clear diagrams oh you actually get a refueling pod as well you can put under wing and uh, so you could actually if you wanted to do the wheels up you could actually get a couple of these and do a mid-air refueling going on different drop tanks cruise missiles bombs photo edge um, so a whole bunch of different um, underwing options well three there actually um, with bombs, basically cruise missiles, and set up as a refueling aircraft. The diagrams look quite nice as well. <coughs> and it looks like basically you have just the one decal option with the um, pixelated camo. So it'd be interesting to see exactly what it looks how it all goes together. Yeah, it looks like the pixels are not underneath, just in the the top surfaces and the side surfaces. So it'd be interesting to see exactly how that all works out. They're numbered here. Number what 33 there, 31 is 31 on here. So and looking at the decal sheet, yeah, there's no there's no backing. The backing film doesn't extend beyond the camouflage, except in places where it's supposed to, just to hold little groups of it together, which will save a whole heap of work. I didn't really fancy trimming a whole bunch of decal sheets in in with this. Um, and then you've also got basically the decal sheets for the aircraft itself. This looks pretty neat so far, so I'll have a quick look at the instructions and a close-up look at some of the parts and see what they look like. The Sukhoi Su-24 is a supersonic all-weather attack aircraft developed in the Soviet Union and ended service in 1975. The aircraft has variable sweep wing, twin engines and a side-by-side -side seating arrangement for its crew of two. It was the first of the USSR's aircraft to carry an integrated digital navigation attack system. It remains in service with the Russian Air Force, Syrian, Ukrainian, Azerbaijan Air Force and various other air forces to which it was exported. About 1400 Su-24s were produced. As for history and plastic, this is pretty much it. There aren't any other kits out there apart from the three versions of this kit done by uh, Armoury. There is an older um, Su-24 Fencer C that was done by Miniwing back in 2011 and that's it. The kit comes in a fully enclosed corrugated cardboard box with a thin cardboard cover over the top. All the plastic parts are inside a receivable bag with the resin parts in there as well in their own bag. P for it has a cardboard backing sheet. Packaging overall is very good. In the box we've got 126 plastic parts plus 5 clear parts, 108 photo etch parts, 3 resin parts, 2 small decal sheets, 6 page black and white assembly guide and a 2 page full colour. Uh, glossy painting decal guide. So on page one we're dealing mostly with the with the nose of the aircraft really. Uh, at the top the first three steps are putting the cockpit together. There's a decal to go in there as well. In this scale you won't be able to see too much but there's some nice detail in there. Steps four and five put in the basically cockpit into the lower half of the nose. Um, it should be simple enough. Step six has you putting some decals on the side walls and before step seven put the top and bottom halves of the nose together and um, says to put the canopy on at this stage as well. And then down at step eight you, ha you basically join the two halves of the nose together and you have the option for having the air to air refueling probe um, deployed or not. And obviously you want to put some weight in there before in step nine you attach the nose to the so say the, the cockpit part of the front of the fuselage. Now on to step two um, or page two steps ten to thirteen. Start off by attaching a couple of small pieces of plastic to the tail, and then we attach that tail to the 
top half of the fuselage. Um, the wings come, you've got two sets of wings, one with them fully extended, one with them fully swept. You have to choose which pair of wings you want to use. You can't um, move the wings when the kit is built. Um, and then you put the top part of the fuselage in step 12 onto the bottom half of the fuselage. Um, you get some nice resin exhausts, they go on at this stage as well. Um, don't forget to use super glue to attach those. And in step 13 at the bottom, just attaching the, um, the engine air intakes on the side of the fuselage. Over to uh, the next page, we start off at the top with the undercarriage legs. Quite nicely detailed for this scale, quite small. Um, basically assemble those and then step 17, attach them to the, to the aircraft. Um, and then at the bottom half, basically you start building um, assorted underwing ordnance. You wouldn't have to do all of this. Um, just choose which ones you're going to put under the wings. You get a refueling pod, which you can f uh, build in the stowed or deployed position. There's two drop tanks, two cruise missiles, 38 um, bombs, um, complete with, uh, there's also bomb racks and air-to-air -air missiles. There's actually a lot of the photo etch parts. There's a high photo etch number, but a lot of them go to, into making the 38 bombs and the fins on the various missiles and things. So a lot of the photo etch is actually in here. And on the last page, it simply shows you the, uh, the various arrangements of, for the under wing and under fuselage um, things that can get fitted. So obviously you'd probably look at this page first, choose which one you want to do, and then just only make the items you need. So you've got a, a bomber version with 38 uh, bombs underneath, a um, missile carrier with two cruise missiles, and an air refueler version with the refueling pod and two fuel drop tanks. For the paint and decals, you've got a double-sided sort of half sheet. Um, essentially, it's not as difficult as it seems, I hope, anyway. Um, basically, paint, paint the whole aircraft light cool grey. You're given the three colours that are used in Humble, Hataka and AK Interactive. Paint the whole aircraft uh, top half of the sides light cool grey. Um, the undersides are the neutral grey, nose is mouse grey. And then with the decals, um, basically the decal guide shows you exactly where to put the decals. And because you painted the aircraft light gold, gold grey, that'll fill in all the gaps. So it looks pretty simple. And also all the uh, digital camouflage is only on the top and sides of the aircraft, nothing on the bottom. But um, they seem to have, looks like they've made it pretty easy to actually achieve this effect. And the decals themselves look quite nice. So an overall conclusion. Um, well, in this scale, there's only one of the model of an SU-24, and that was an earlier version, um, and done uh, almost 10 years ago now. Um, Armory's released this version and two other versions with uh, foreign decal options, uh, foreign to Russia anyway. Um, Detail on the plastic is quite nice. Um, I think they've. It's an interesting camouflage scheme on this one with the dig digital, and they've done by decal sheets, and it looks like it. Um, they've found a nice way to actually do that digital camouflage as well, so it should work. Overall, it's uh, well worth a look, and, and in this scale, you can you could get a few of them. It like, might look pretty neat with uh, the the air refueling version actually refueling an aircraft. So, we're all pretty nice.